Oh, <laughs> 
Take a picture, take my picture, but don't forget the filter so I can filter through the sea of comments and you know these are people who don't really know me. Cause if I'm honest, I don't think I'm beautiful sometimes. Comparing mine to someone else's life, but that's not my truth, that's not my story. But they got will never be for me, so surround yourself with people who like They thought there was a possibility that I would lose my hearing entirely. So that I didn't miss out on music, my mum would put my hand on a speaker and turn the music up really loud so that I could feel the vibrations. When I got my hearing aids for the first time, I cried because I'd never heard birds before or the whistling of leaves on trees. When I was eight years old, I fell in love with dance. And as I grew up, I promised myself my hearing loss wouldn't define me. Yes, I know I have a disability, but I will never let it disable me. Tonight I'm dancing with Colin on this stage for you without the help of a hearing aid. Because for me, dance has nothing to do with my hearing and everything to do with the feeling. I've learned how to feel the music and never miss a step. Being deaf is not my handicap, it's my superpower. And I am Thank you. 
2019, I had probably the most difficult year of my life. Uh, I had my heart broken in a way that I didn't even know was possible for a heart to break. And for the first time in my adult life, I found myself waking up in the morning and thinking, Todrick, are you beautiful? Are you talented? Do you deserve to fall in love like you see in the movies? What I realized in my 30s is that waking up and being truly head over heels in love with the person you see staring back at you is the most difficult thing in the world for a human being to do. You have to wake up every single day, Miami Beach, and make the conscious decision to fall head over heels madly in love with yourself. Because once you do that, you won't let some dirtbag boy break you down. You won't let some so-called friend stab you in the back because you would have had the self-worth to walk away from them the first time they showed you who they were. And so, I have written a lot of love songs in my life because in my mind I am a Disney prince and nobody can convince me otherwise. But in 2019, and what could have been perhaps the most dark moment of my entire life, I sat down and wrote the most important love song that any artist could write, a song I still go back to over and over and over again when the world and the internet gets to be too much. I go back and listen to this song. I, I would say that I have other songs that I like more melodically, but this song is the most important love song because this particular song is a love song I wrote to myself. And I'm gonna sing a song for you and I hope the lyrics and the melody touch somebody out there and remind you that you are more than enough. Children, lullabies. I play anthems and then I press rewind. But this is a love song, but a different kind. Cause I let others tear me apart. So come love.
Disney Parade, um, which is now playing at Disneyland, Magic Happens, so check that out. Um, but I was in such a dark place that there was nobody I could call, no therapist or psychiatrist I felt like I could reach out to, no friend that I felt wasn't going to pass judgment because they told me eight million times I should have stopped messing with him and I should have listened, but I didn't. And it was like I was sitting down, like trying my hardest to push through the day and get through the task at hand. And this melody came to my mind and I just kept saying, I am, I am, I am, I am enough. Over and over and over and over again. And like tears all of a sudden started coming down my face. And I'm not a crier, but in that moment I just couldn't help it. I just kept singing it over and over and over again. I am, I am, I am, I am enough. And I was really hesitant to start singing that song at Pride's because we're here to kiki and turn up and you know, look at our lives, but so many people would say to me, that's the song I didn't know I needed, but I needed it. So I always like to perform that. I can tell the people in the audience who need that message. The past year and a half has been very, very difficult for me. I have found myself in a lot of online media controversy. Bullshit. And it has been very, very, very difficult, not just for me, but for my family, my loved ones, my friends, my employees. And I just want to say that, um, the hardest part about being a public figure is having to learn really difficult life lessons with hundreds of thousands of people passing judgment, telling you who you are, because for, some, for a moment, you will start to believe that. We are all human and we're all gonna make mistakes. That's the beauty of being human. So let us spread love because we already have enough people sending us hate to our community. Let us spread love to each and every one of us. I thank you for being here to support me and my crew today. I appreciate the people who have been with me through every single chapter of my life, the ups and the downs. I appreciate you all breaking box office records on Broadway and Kinky Boots and Waitress in Chicago, streaming my music over and over and over again, hundreds of millions of times and helping me get 900 million views on YouTube. I appreciate it. We're, we're quickly approaching 1 billion views, so thank you so much. My team and I are so dedicated. I cannot wait for you all to see the new music and everything that we're coming out with, but I appreciate each and every one of you that I got to meet earlier today, and those of you all who I haven't. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting me through this very difficult chapter. I appreciate it so much. Listen, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but when I was backstage, they tapped me on my shoulder and told me that there's a rainstorm coming and it's about to hit right oh about now.
if you know this, but I like when the boys wear things. But to be honest, I like when the boys wear nothing at all. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna take my
you ain't shit. Bitch, you ain't shit. Bitch, you ain't shit. So narcissistic, not gonna miss it. One little bit, a little bit. And I can do everything you have.
All subscriptions are final. This beat may cause gayness, fabulousness, twerking, gyrations, excessive kicks, splits, popping, dropping, blinking, fanning, and most likely will result in dipping, shablamming, and or death dropping. And glitter cannons will, I repeat, will go off. This special offer ends after this final performance, so get your subscription today.
much. Listen, did you all have a good time today? I am so grateful to be here. Thank you so much to the team for having me be here on the 15th anniversary of the Miami Beach Pride. This is perhaps one of the most important prides that we've ever had at Miami Beach. I had the honor of watching Shangela's show from, uh, from the sidelines. What do you think of Shangela, everyone? This is quite the lineup. I just have to say not to throw any other prides under the bus, but there's not always this diverse, okay? There's not always this much representation. They're not all bringing drag queens to Florida, honey. Well, drag queen ought to be. I want to give a really gigantic, humongous round of applause for my dancers, my paid dancers. My paid dancers. Yes, we have Aisha over here. Da -da 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 -da. Jahari. <laughs> Christy. Chris Pizzicalis. Captain Ride or Die. Okay, Jenny right there. Make some noise for Jenny. Also, shout out to everybody who helped make this possible. My assistant, Six, backstage. Make some noise for Six, who did my hair and makeup. And Chauncey back there on the sound booth. Um, every single time I get the opportunity to come and do a show, people say to me afterwards, how do I make my dreams a reality? I'm in a small town, I don't know how to do it. I just want you to know that I am living proof that you are the only person in the world who has to believe in you. Nobody else has to get it. Nobody else has to understand. So don't sit around and wait for a permission slip or a hall pass. Go chase your dreams, because there has never been a more important time than right now, Miami Beach, for LGBTQ plus people to go take control of their destiny, tell their stories, create their art, we love to support our, our, our cis girls that are the pop stars, but we really, really need to be also supporting our LGBTQ plus artists, okay? So thank you, Miami Beach, for having queer people headline your queer pride celebration. I love you all so much. I cannot wait to come back here. Thank you for giving us your time. Thanks for staying out with us. And I have one more important thing to say, and I don't know if I'm getting choked up. Oh my gosh. This is probably the most important thing I've said all night, so if you take nothing else away from the show, just please remember this. Don't forget to let your ex know that he still